give you your praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we magnify you, we glorify you. We thank you that you are a good God and there is none like unto you. You are possessor of heaven and earth. We thank you, Father, for everyone in person and everybody over the screen. We thank you that their households are well. We declare and decree it in Jesus' name. We declare your favor. We declare your goodness. We declare your grace. And we shall grace grace, Father. We thank you right now that you are turning mountains into plateaus. We thank you, Father, right now that you remove every burden and destroy every yoke. And so we give you glory, praise, and honor for it now. Now, Holy Spirit, you are the miracle worker. You are the one here with us in the earth, ready to give us our peace. We pray that revelation knowledge will flow freely, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. None of me, all of you. Holy Spirit, speak through my vocal cords and think through my mind to bring wisdom, knowledge, and good understanding of your word. We do approach the holy written word of God reverently, and we give you glory for it. And we give you praise for it. And Father, with the fruit of our lips, we give thanks. And we covet the gifts of the Spirit to be in operation and demonstration. And we magnify your name this day. Yeah, move up and down every aisle, in and out of every row. Touch, heal, deliver, set free, make whole. Whatever is wrong, make it right. Whatever is rough, make it smooth. Whatever is crooked, make it straight. And we speak life in this ministry. We speak life over the people, every member, every partner, and every supporter. Father, we thank you that this word will go to the uttermost parts of the earth. As you commanded us to build locally, but to think globally, we thank you for local impact and also global impact. And we give you praise, glory, and honor for it. In the name that's above every name. Glory to God. It's the name that's above every name. Lord Jesus, we magnify you. Glory to your holy name. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, God. Yeah. You perfect everything that concerns us. And we give you the praise. We give you the glory. And we give you the honor for it now. In the mighty, holy, majestic name of Jesus, that we do pray, praise, and give thanks. And everybody in agreement say amen. 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 And amen. Well, let's give God some praise in here today. Hallelujah. Online, we want to welcome you. We are doing things a little different today. We are in person. Um, it's kind of like my studio audience a little bit. While we're still working on fully coming back full blown in person, uh, we felt the need to really come back so we can touch on people, love on you, see you. Um, at the same time, God wants us to begin to move forward. And I got a word for you today um, that I believe is going to bless your life and bless your socks off. Um, so I want to do this. I want as an opportunity while we're um, finishing and getting ready. I just want all of you to just greet one another, love on one another, appreciate. Maybe if you don't know somebody, introduce yourself to them. But we just want to love on you in Jesus' name. And so as they're doing that, we want to welcome our online audience, our streaming audience, our virtual audience. Um, we don't um, believe it's by chance that you're here today, but we do believe that there will be something that will be shared that will be a blessing to your life. So on behalf of my wife, Pastor Raquel, and myself, we just want to say welcome to our spirit of our family, those that are near and far. And so, listen, if you happen to be in the area, come on down to the Arts Community Center. There's still time for you to get here. For those that are in other states, other countries, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank God for you. And we're expecting the great and best for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we good? So y'all, please, we're just getting some technical things together, um, some things we had to get straight at the last minute, so we do apologize for any inconvenience that you may experience. So we want you to go ahead and get your pen and your pads. We want y'all to get ready for the Word of God today. I'm not going to keep you long, but I believe that this is something that's going to bless your life. Um, 
as I've been dealing with the grace of God in this series, dealing with God's grace and dealing with that. And I want to give uh, a quick definition that we've been going by when we talk about God's grace. Now, the, um, the Strong's Concordance calls it God's unmerited favor, his unearned, undeserved favor. But as my pastor has shared, and I, I like to take the definition that he's been preaching, and I want to utilize it myself, is grace is the unmerited, abounding provision of the unrestrained operation of God's infinite love through Jesus Christ on the behalf of man, especially those. And so... Once again, I'm going to read that again. It's the unmerited, it's the abounding provision of the unrestrained operation of God's infinite love. Now, see, the unrestrained infinite, that means nothing is being held back from you. Nothing is being held back from us. That through God's love, his, see, this is one thing I tell people who come against the grace message. And listen, there has been an uproar even throughout the body of Christ that I've been seeing amongst preachers. And God has really gotten on me about speaking up and speaking out about certain things. He said, you've been quiet long enough. I need you to come out of hiding. And I need you to start declaring into, decreeing some things. And so one of the things is you can't, and I had somebody call me one day, not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and they asked me about something that had just come on over the internet. And I said this, I said, number one, I said, first, I don't answer a matter before I hear it. Um, the The... In Proverbs, it calls you a fool if you do that, if you answer something before hearing it out. And so one of the things is, I said, number one, I said, before you can understand the grace of God, you need to understand the love of God. If you understand God's agape, it's, it's what's called the hasid agape of God. In other words, it's God's overwhelming, overrunning love. He loves you so much, he's trying to run you down with his goodness. If you don't see God as that type of person, then you won't understand the free gifts that he's given us. And so when God says that you are already healed, you can say, how is that seeing that I'm an unclean man or woman? God, I'm not the best at this. And my, my, my merits don't match up. He says, no, I'm taking you out of the equation because you couldn't meet all of the standards of the law. So I sent Jesus to come to fulfill what you and I couldn't fulfill so that we can receive all of the provisions that he has for us. And so now this is going to be vitally important. Now, um, I'm sharing this, but I'm getting ready to hit you with a prophetic word that the Lord gave me about 3 o'clock in the morning on about Thursday or Friday. And I happened to get up and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I was laying in the bed and I was just meditating. And all of a sudden he began to speak to me. And I knew it was from him because as it just began to roll and it just began to flow. Now, I'm going to start with what he gave me. I don't know where we're going to go from here. All I know is that God, he, he gave me something to share with you. Because at first I was wondering if it was just for me. But I said, Lord, this, this ain't just for me. This is for everybody. This is this for the body. This for everybody that needs to hear this. And I want to make sure I put myself on the clock today. Um, so I'm, I'm going to set my own clock. I'm going to make sure that I'm good to go. Amen. Come on in. Come on. Some people, yeah, is it coming on? Listen, you're going to hear this word today, and God going to, boy, God going to bless y'all socks off today. God going to bless your socks off. Get ready. Look at your neighbor and say, get ready. Get ready. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive. One of the things that I tell people is this. Your level, this is something that the Spirit of God spoke to me years ago. He said, Mike, tell my people the level, the speed in which they receive will determine the speed in which I manifest. In other words, how quickly you can receive it will determine how quickly it begins to manifest in your life. And so we got to be ready. And so, I'm, yeah, I think I'm going I'm to let her rip today. Um, we, 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 as I begin, and let me start here. I want to make sure I'm staying on track. As I begin to just lay there, I was laying in the bed. I didn't want to interrupt my wife. Um, she was knocked out. She, she, she didn't move a budge. And as I just begin to hear these words, I want to begin to speak them to you now. And I want everybody that's listening. And normally I didn't do all of my, my preliminaries. I want you to go ahead and share this message, share this video right now on all of your social media platforms, wherever you are. 
I need for you to begin to share this. Um, and I'm going to speak from my spirit. Um, how you doing? Good to see you. The Spirit of God, and this was entitled, I began to do a series entitled The Upgrade. I remember I was doing The Upgrade for a while. But the Holy Ghost arrested me and said, it's time to upgrade. He says, it's time to upgrade everything around you. He says, from your wardrobe to your lifestyle. He says, the Father wants better for us, but also this, he wants better from us. Now, I'm I'm, I'm going to go back here. He partly got on me. He says, it's one thing to know better. It's another thing to do better. Many people know what to do. They're just not doing it to the degree in which they've learned and the revelation that's been given. And he really got on me is to say, I need you to lead them now. Don't you hold back anything that I ever give you from this day forward. Or Robert um, shared something with uh, Dr. Dahl and some other ministers years ago. He says, whatever you compromise to keep, you'll eventually lose. And God has dealt with me. It was like certain things you compromise out of fear of being misunderstood, but also fear of being rejected. He says, don't you ever shut your mouth to anything I'm telling you to say ever again. He says, I brought you up for a reason. I brought you up with a purpose. From the time you were young, my hand was on you. Now, I wasn't even planning on going this route, but this is kind of how I'm I'm dealing with it. And he said this. He says, okay, time is running short. And God is getting ready to upgrade his body. He says, remember, he says, I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such blemish. He says, tell them I'm expecting I want better for them, but I want better from them. And you need, that's the spirit of excellence. Excellence is seen in the unsupervised areas of your life. It's not what you do when people watching. It's what you're doing when they ain't. It's how your closet looks that nobody sees but you. See, don't just put on the show for people that you're entertaining. You deserve to live in the same level of blessing that you try to portray and bestow to others. Do you hear me? He says, if you understand your identity the manifestations begin to take place because when you realize that you, remember we talked about last week dealing with the revelation of the identity of your sonship, understanding that you're a son or a daughter of God, when you recognize that you realize that, wait a minute, I deserve better. Now you better get ready for this because he says we must be intentional in our actions and movements from the smallest to the largest. He says, you are to see, okay, I'm going to just read the notes and then I'll flow as I need to. He says, even if you have to start making small improvements one at a time, start them now. He says, this will help to restore, replenish, replace, rebuild, and reignite, which will cause you to rejoice. You got to hear me. Because you're, some people are waiting on a big moment. He said it's going to be the small thing that you do that's going to cause a ripple effect into the greater thing. You better hear me. Because if you do the small stuff, it's going to expand. The small adjustments. Let, let, let me share. I don't care if you got to go and buy one piece of clothing. That's the top of the line. 
is going to get you used to better. I need you to hear this, and I need everybody to hear this. God is saying my people are living beneath what I've called for them to be in every area. In every area. In every, I know, I know some of us, we ain't been together in a minute. He said, we're going to work this thing. No, oh, Rabbi Seke. I sense it like, he says, it's going to start with your thinking. It got to start with your thinking. Because if you used to low level, if you used to dirt, if you used to junk, if you used, you're going to have to go out and start cleaning out some stuff you don't need to make room for what he wants to bring in. It's going to be a sign of your faith showing him that I received this, but I'm also expecting this. Some, of, some people have never had news in their life. He says, I want you to get ready for better, but watch this, moving you to best. This is... This, it's almost like, God, why? He said, I got to have, you, remember we saw, was it in Romans, where it talks about the earth is in travail, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God? This ain't just about an outward thing. You got to hear me. It's the mentality of who you are, which will begin to ignite your faith to express all aspects of who you are. Something as simple as, who have you prayed for lately? Who have you laid hands on lately? Did you lay hands expecting to see him healed? Or did you just shrink back, realizing that, wait a minute, because you thought it was you doing the work. This is why we got to get this grace, because we realize it's he that's doing the work through us and in us, that it takes the pressure off of you to perform. And all you got to do is make yourself available and you will be a conduit for the power to flow through. It's like this. When the power flows through you, it's going to start flowing to you. Okay. Okay. All right, let me, 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 let me. The Lord said he's going to stretch you with this. And some are going to make big strides and some smaller ones but each will make improvement and move forward. It will be determined by your faith level and your energy level. This is why you've been attacked to shut down progress. And God is saying, I need for you to... Re I need you to receive this so that now you can experience what you've been believing for all along. Come on, Holy Ghost. I need this to sink in. Hmm. Satan has been distracting so many people with attacks, you haven't progressed forward in the purpose because your energy and your focus has gone towards the attack that's been coming. And what it will do is it will stagnate you from moving forward full throttle because, because your body is the carrier of your spirit. And so now what God wants to do is he wants to renovate and restore physical bodies to get people in a position to enjoy and to move forward in what he told you to do. He says you're in your days in pleasure and your years in prosperity and pleasure. So you ought to expect your latter to be greater than your former. I don't care how long it's been. God says, I need to reignite you because you started off with an excitement years ago. But he says for some, that excitement has dwindled and you've been fighting to stay focused. 
You've been fighting to stay in, in, energized with it. And so anything that brings you energy, you're drawn towards it because now when you start feeling depleted, your first thought is, I need something to stimulate me and to stir me up. And God is saying this, the inward man is going to be stirred up. He says, I'm giving you right now the Holy Spirit so that you can ignite and stir up this power on the inside of you. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The same power that created the heavens and the stars. The same power that created man. The same power that told the ocean to come up and told it when to go back again. The same power abides on the inside of us. And God is saying this. If you can start again, I'll move again. If you can start it again, I'll move again. If you can start it again, I'll move again. I don't care who left you. I don't care what you lost. I made a promise, and I'll never forget a promise I make. We might forget it, or we might lose heart in it. He says, I'll never forget a promise I make. He says, I got to have somebody that's going to be a billboard for me. I got somebody that I'm going to use as my marketing strategy in the earth to show them that I can do this with you. And all God is saying is, will you allow me to do it? He says it's going to be determined by your faith level, your energy level. And then he says, watch this improvements in your personality, improvements in your prayer life, improvements in your eating and spending habits, exercise and nutrition. He says improvements in your home, upgrades in your career, your jobs, ministries, and businesses. He says some, this is what I heard him say, he says some of you, tell them, some of them will go back to school or some type of training regimen to improve what they're currently doing. And then he brought it up to me real strong. He said, this is the upgrade. He says, you must have increase on your mind. This is the upgrade. You got to hear me. Some people don't realize. Increase. So when you go in your home, when you come into people's lives, you think, how can I add value? How can I build you up? When you go home, what can we do to improve our current living circumstance? Okay, you got to hear this. Because you're going to have to be spirit-led with purchases. You're going to have to be spirit-led with moves that you make. Because, watch this, you can't shut God down when he tells you to do something to, and you think that, I can't afford that because I got to spend money on this and I got to spend it on that. Not realizing that if you obey what he's telling you to do, he's trying to break something off of you and push you through into something. Yeah, yeah y'all got to hear what I'm telling you. Okay, I just got to release the word. Y'all are responsible for receiving because I'm telling you what, as I begin to sit there, I said that makes perfect sense. Because sometimes what happens is you've gotten so used to it and you didn't realize your thinking starts shrinking. So your expectations started shrinking. And so you started settling for stuff that God said I never intended for you to settle with. In other words... It, it, it's, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me read what else he said. This is just how it was coming to me. I just kept typing. He says, begin to set daily regimens. Regimentations are going to be crucial in this next season of your life. 
For some, it can be small walks in the park or around your neighborhood. And some that can do more than do more. But you will need to push yourself a little past the last thing that you did. He's saying that's what you need to start doing. And he says when you begin to do that, your minimum effort will cause my maximum provision and power to show up. Remember what he said about Moses, his eyes were not dim, neither his natural forces abated. His eyes were not dim. His natural forces weren't abated. God can strengthen you for what he called you to do. You need energy. You need strength. You need wisdom. You've prayed. Now you need a plan. This is the word intentional. I want you listening to me. He says you have to be intentional about relationships that you need to foster. There are some people that God's going to reconnect some of you with. That you thought that it was going to be diminished. You thought that, you know what, I don't think we're going to rock together any longer. Because of what happened. He said, I'm about to surprise some of you. I'm about to surprise some of you with reconnection. I'm telling you, what it's doing is, it's eliminating pride. And he's saying, you don't know the way I'm going to funnel it to you. So you got to be open. For some of you, you were supposed to be with those individuals to to do what God called you to do. But Satan came in and messed up the relationship and caused the whole thing to shut down. And now there are people who are not impacted and you will have to give an account for what you did not do. We all got to. God is starting doing something in my family personally. It's like, no, stuff, it was like, uh-uh, stuff that was supposed to be seen is going to be seen. Stuff that was supposed to happen is going to happen. So even if we didn't do it when my children were younger, we're going to do it when they're older. Whatever we got to do, whatever got to happen, what, watch this. He says, if you start moving in that area, I'm going to provide for you. Some of you waiting on the money before you plan the trip. He said, plan the trip and the money going to show up. No, you better hear me. I'm telling you what he told me. He says, you've been waiting. He says, you ain't been walking by faith. You've been walking by sight. You've been preaching faith, but living by your senses. And he said, you got to come out your senses and get in faith and start moving like you say you believe. That's why we're called believers. We believe. So whether somebody else doing it, I ain't got time to be looking at somebody else's Instagram. I ain't got time to be looking at somebody else's post. It's time for me to focus on me and to do what God called me to do, to stay in my lane, and God is going to bless it. He said, I told you what to do. He said, my hand been on you all this time. And you were supposed to have grown by leaps and bounds from school to school. And God says it ain't over. You better hear me. It wasn't about the money. It was about the people you were supposed to impact. There were children to be raised up from my kingdom that were supposed to come through your program. It's bigger. And he says, my blessing is going to be a byproduct of your obedience to what I told you to do. My blessing is already on the plan I got for you. In that path is the good life. No matter what it is, some of you, I don't care. It's been 20 years. He said, my mind has not changed about you. 
And there are pastors who shut down their doors who were never called to shut down their doors. And they went to other places because it was convenient. And God is saying, there are many people who have lived and died and never come into the first phase of what I told them to do. And God will raise up people to help you. He said, had you ever considered, did you ever consider, Gloria, going for a brand new car? Did you ever consider it? Because you kept thinking that you had to pay for it. He said, if you just go, you've been praying for everybody else for years. He said, it's time for me to show you my goodness. And will you receive it? It will overwhelm you. Well, you will pass out at the goodness of God. You better hear me. I already know. Some people ain't comfortable around me. Some people don't like it because when I come, I'm a disruptor. When I speak, it disrupts comfort and comfortability. And sometimes people are like, no, don't hang around him. He's trying to do this or he's trying. God already shown me some people saying it behind my back. He said, you keep speaking and I'm going to open the doors. And God says this, I'm going to remind you. Listen, this ain't about, and I want to be mindful that I stay in the spirit and not in the flesh. Because the flesh side is, let them jokers stay alive long enough to see me blessed. But I get this. God, it ain't about that. I want you to show them your goodness. Let my life provoke them to your grace. Let my life provoke them to your righteousness. Let the goodness of God be seen. You hear me, mom? God is good. And he wants to do you good. You hear me? I mean strength. Blessing your family. God is good. He said that you are ready to heal. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you believe that he can bring strength? If he raised Lazarus from the dead who was dead four days and bound, and he said, loose him and let him go. Listen, everybody crying. Jesus, if you would have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. We've done the same. Lord, if you would have showed up, it wouldn't have happened the way that happened. He says, do you know who you're talking to? I am the resurrection and the life. And whatever is dead that needs to be resuscitated, the breath of God is going to blow on it now. Lord, I know y'all getting, I know. Y'all, y'all, I wasn't expecting to go here with it, but I'm telling you now. You going to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. You hear me? You hear me? The five, listen, not just the five-fold ministry gifts, but the, the gifts of the Spirit, the nine gifts are about to be at an all-time high. A lot that people have preached have been good self-help messages. But some have been void of power. And God said, my power about to show up. There's a generation that's ready. There's a generation that has come before that you've experienced God's glory in certain aspects. But God said there's about to be emerging. It has already started, the Spirit of the Lord has said. It has already started, and they are already in the pipeline. You better hear me. It is going to bring an energy. It's going to bring life back. You won't design to do it by yourself. You're going to learn from your mistakes. And I hate to keep taking it from you, baby, but I got to say it. And this time around. And this time around. And this time around. You better hear me. And this time around. Don't let your season pass. It's time to travel, but you got work to do. You got too much to do. It's too many. It's too much work to do. Inner city work. People who feel like they don't have a fighting chance. 
You got to speak life into them. You hear me? This is it. God said, I am the God of seasons. And I can bring another around if I say so. But he said, time is wrapping up, so you have to obey me now. He said, I'm going to stretch you. You got to be strong to enjoy it. And he says, I'm going to remind you again, I told you I got them. You don't have to worry one bit about it. You can't be God for him. The spirit of God is visiting your children. And he's manifesting himself. I'm telling you, there is a way. Up. <laughs> I try to say it in a way, but it felt like I'm about to burst with it. It's the overwhelming, overrunning goodness of God that you're trying to think. You've been trying to formulize how it's going to work. And he said, if you just show up this time, it's going to work. You, you got to hear what I'm, I'm telling you. It, it is such an ease that's coming in this season. If you just believe, you hear me? Listen, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's stuff waiting on you. It is waiting on you. I, God, I can't. It is waiting on you. And this going to blow your mind, I'm telling you. All you can do is grab your head and say, God, I didn't even ask for this. He said, but I knew you would like it. He said, I'm just trying to find somebody that's going to let me bless them like this. They betrayed me as such a mean father. But if they just knew me, just how good he is. Glory. Glory. God. No, I'm, I mean, now, this year, expect. I said, God, I was telling my wife, I said, I, I said, I said, did I ever say something about people passing and moving on? She was like, yeah. I was like, I've seen so many people move on and pass. It's like, God, what is going on? All I'm telling you is, think it not a bad thing. For my thoughts are higher than yours. My ways are higher than yours. For many who have passed was my goodness shown to them to receive them into my glory. You're so busy dwelling in finite things. And I'm moving you to infinite things. You need to start having eternity on your mind. It'll cause you to move different. You better hear me. There are kingdom citizens. How do I want to say it? Pam, it's like this. There are people with a kingdom mentality. We hear that. It's a glow. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost, articulate it. 
it's going to be such a, I'm trying to, okay. It's going to be such a mentality of authority, power, goodness, grace, the whole thing mixed together where you, it's, this is as simple as I can say, wherever you go, ooh, that's good. Wherever I send you, you are authorized to dominate. You hear me? Boy, you received that thing. Ooh, you re ooh, you, I saw you receive that thing in your spirit. Wherever I send you, you're authorized to dominate. And everybody else can have the bells and the whistles, but they ain't got the authority and the anointing I placed on you. That's what makes the difference. That's what's always made the difference. This is something that God told me years ago when he told me to go into the prison. I said, Lord, everybody fishing in the same pond. Everybody going there. But he just simply said this, everybody doesn't have your voice. So there's space for you wherever he sends you. I'm going to continue next week dealing with this grace because you got to understand it because you got to share it. God is about, he is not about to, he has already started. He is totally shifting and wrecking our former theologies, former ideologies. There is a representing of God like you have never seen before. God is tearing down idols that we've built up over years in the church. And you're going to see unusual, what's the word? Unusual, oh, Lord, come on, I just had the word. Uncommon, but that's another word. Unusual, unorthodox methods to getting it done. And people will fight against it in the beginning. But it won't stop. The, it's like an onslaught. I, I understand the scripture. When the um, enemy comes at you, like the flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. Sometimes we might have read that wrong. When the enemy come, come, like a flood, the Lord will raise up a standard against them. We giving Satan too much credit because when the power starts flowing out of all of us, you hear me? And there's going to be a rejoicing. There's going to be a rejoicing. Heaven is rejoicing. I hear it. I hear it in the spirit. They're rejoicing. Angels are saying yes. They're preaching it. Yes. They're about to see it. Yes. Woo, you better hear me. Woo, glory to God. You better, whoa, you better hear me. You better hear me. The glory is about to manifest. The glory is about to show up. The glory. Woo! Glory to God. Shh. Woo! Jesus. Woo! Jesus. Woo! Jesus. Glory to God. Woo! Woo! God, they're thinking. Woo! Jesus. Woo! Glory. Woo, glory. Woo. Glory to God. Hey. Hey, woo. <laughs> woo. <laughs> woo, glory. Woo, glory. 
Woo, glory. My God. Woo. Hereba. Woo, glory. Preachers, hear me. I know some of you slip on here and watch. Power is going to show up. When the Holy Spirit manifests, don't you quench him because of your programmed agenda. The people are hungry and they are ready. Woo. Glory to God. My God. I get it when Paul talks about seeing things, but he can't describe it. You just see it. It's go, man. Woo, boy. When that revelation hits you and it then come out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I mean power out of your spirit to change and rearrange everything. You better, you better go home and start declaring and decreeing like you never have before. The power of the Almighty is going to flow out of you like a force and your body, see, there'll be times you bet you, there'll be times in the spirit where it feels as though your body can't handle it. This is why people fall under the power. When the super comes in contact with the natural, something has to give. I'm telling you. Ooh, man, that go, my God. It felt like a rush, a wave of a power that came from the super, from the unseen, to the scene to get it into the atmosphere. Okay. See, you, I know everybody, they, everybody don't talk like this, but you have to demonstrate. You have to be like Jesus in the book of Acts. It says he began both to do and to teach. He demonstrated. Then he taught on it. This is why the Holy Ghost said that the teaching of my word is going to sustain what my glory has manifested. There's going to be stuff that's going to show up, but then God going to come back and teach you how it happened. And the revelation, but see, some people have been trying to understand it before they walk in it. I get in all you'll get and get understand it, but he says for some of you, you know it's me. You know it's me that's been leading you. You know. Huh. Man. We in for a time. You better hear me. And they coming, Rock. They ready. You are ready. And I'm going to take you from the back to the front. You better get ready. No, you, be, you better hear me. Some of them TV shows they've been doing, you're supposed to be on them. And God going to open up the door whether you like it or not. He's going to usher you right on in. Hey, hey, glory. The glory. Ooh, the glory. The glory that shall be revealed, the glory. The glory. Yeah. The glory. I know, Lord, I don't like that, though. The glory. I know, I know, I know. That's, this is why things that are picking up so fast. He said there are things that are going to manifest so fast in the earth. Because the time is shortening. The window is closing. Jesus is coming. And you got to be ready. You got to be ready. Hear me. Deacon, I hope to hear me. 
I hope y'all hear me. You ain't going to have time to think whether you want the deal or not. You got to be ready to cut deals at a moment's notice. It's going to happen so fast. I told you that your head will swim. Your head swimming, it will seem like confusion because it's happening so fast. But you got to be ready to receive it, and you got to know this is of the Lord. Your head won't get it, but your spirit already said yes to it. And you will pick up on it. And I don't understand it in my head, but baby, I think we got to go here. Or we're going to miss an opportunity. Which you, I'm telling you, you, oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, you better get ready. Because as I speak, the opportunities are opening up now. I'm telling you now. They are opening up now. Hear me, internet. Hear me, spirit of fire. Wherever you are, hear what thus saith the Lord. The doors of the church are open. You hear me? It is already done. Speed. Whew, I hear that. Speed. Come here, Lee. This is how I see it. Turn and face that way. He said, come closer to me. He says, the wind of my grace, the wind of my blessing, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. The blessing, the empowerment maketh. You ain't going to want to do it, but you're going to feel an unseen force moving you into a direction. I, this is the best way I can say it. God keeps unctioning you and prompting you, and you keep trying to fight against it, and that's where you've been wearing out, because you're not functioning and flowing in the rhythm of the grace. You've been going against it, and that's why you've been tired. That's why you've been worn out. God says, if you get in my rhythm, my power will meet you. I'm done, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I won't hurt myself doing that. Okay. I release it in the name of Jesus. The glory has already started. It's no longer a countdown. It is here. It is here. It is here. And you're going to see it greater in the media. Watch what I keep hearing now. Watch CNN soon. Something is about to happen that you're going to see. And people will fear, but it's a disruption in the spirit. And God is manifesting. And the earth is in travail, waiting for us to show up. You can no longer second guess should you talk to your neighbor about Jesus any longer. You have to share it now. You have to talk to them now. Those that you've been wondering, you've been wanting to kind of really just talk, talk. He said, the time is now. There's no more, I hate to say it this way, but there's no more grace, period. You understand what I mean? You understand what I'm saying when I say that? That means, because you don't, okay, I'm not going to jump into that, Lord, and add mine. When I'm thinking. I'll say it this way. I'm not saying this part is the Lord. I'm saying this part is me now. You may not know if that's their last opportunity to hear it. And you were the one God brought across their path. Yeah. This is that. Spoken by the prophet Joel. This is that. This is that. This is that. This is that. Who? This is that. This is that. This is that. Who? Glory. Little boy there. Little boy there. Little who? They boy there. They boy there. They boy there. They see a lord. 
Ooh, I hear the hammer of my grace will cut. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, glory. And people who disqualified you will have to stand in awe. Hey, it's been based on your performance, but your acceptance. And it'll change your behavior. Yeah, day by day. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change. Oh, what a change. Glory. Oh, what, whoo, glory. Oh, what a change. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. The blessing. The blessing. Come on, we all do stand beside him. The blessing. The blessing of the Watson household. The blessing. The blessing. Glory to God. The blessing. Y'all stretch your hands toward the blessing. 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 Glory. Glory. The blessing. Oh, receive the blessing. Yeah. The blessing of the Lord and make it rich. Yeah, from the oldest to the youngest. The blessing, the blessing. Your lineage is blessed. Everything you touch will prosper. Everything you think about will work. It'll come out. It'll come out in ideas. It'll come out in concepts. Yes, from all along, it was supposed to be multiple businesses. And you've seen these things. And you've seen these things. And you've seen these things. But the time is not over. You can structure it and you can get it ready, not just for your children and your children's children, but for you to enjoy as well in the process. Yeah, I'll give you seed to sow and bread for your eating. And not only will you be, yeah, not only will you enjoy it for your children and your children's children, but the two of you will enjoy it as well for all along. Oh, I hear this. I hear this. I hear this. And I'm going to make up for all of the pain. Ooh, glory. Ooh, glory. All of the pain you've endured. Yeah. I'm going to make up for lost time. Ooh, glory. Now, when you hear the word of the Lord, you treat it like the written word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by. You remind yourself of that word. You expect it to work. Don't just sit back haphazardly and see if it's going to work. Uh-uh. This is, goes into it. Move like it already is working. Talk like it's already working. Plan like it's already working. And you will see it work. If you don't have a financial advisor, you better find one. If you don't have an estate planner, you need to find one. You need to structure it all. Structure it all. You're structuring. It's just like when he told a widow, go borrow a vessel. He said, don't borrow a few. He was structuring. He was getting her ready to receive. So you're providing the structure to receive whatever it is God bringing to you. All right, whoo, Lord, I felt about to pass out of it all, Jesus. Man, this thing's strong. It's like going stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, glory. Glory. This one's for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 There are some things, Lord, I don't know if everybody can handle it just yet. If I say it, no combate. Whoo. Wow. This anointing has to go. This anointing has to go to the uttermost parts of this earth. The power. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I take no glory. To you, 
the old power. Glory. Sherry Basica. Glory. 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 The rebels did they did they both go see that. John Michael, come here real quick. You won't understand all of this now, but you will later. Shabrana, lift up your hands, son. Take off your hat. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the glory and grace that's on me may be multiplied on you to think beyond, to think greater. It's bigger than what you're thinking now. My hand has been upon you. Who? Get ready for the fire of God is about to hit your life. And I'm about to reveal myself to you. Sherimando Fusole. Run strong, son. Ah. No, 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 my time ain't up. No, I have much to do. She bad de si te code. Shoto comba, nana, uh uh. So de bate. Ah, strong, man. What is this, bro? What you doing? There's people watching online. That anointing has been hitting you. Some of you, 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 you experience it. If you connect it, you, you experience it, it's anointing. Y'all drawing it. Shut up, shit. Come on, Pam. Come in. Come on. Come on. He getting you ready. He getting you ready. He's getting you ready. And they shit they come back that they see. Hey, they vote by the bash. He did it the bro. Shamba Debo, Shodo, don't overthink. Don't overthink, but just flow with me. And I'll show you exactly what to do. I'll show you exactly what to do. I'll show you exactly. Yeah, they both are they say they be. Ibade, bove de de. Out of your belly. And wisdom will flow. And wisdom will come from the crown of your head to the soul. Yeah, they both. Oh, shut up. They Massacre. Now, that was just something that the Lord deposited in the spirit for whatever she needs. I don't know all of what, but he knows. And she'll know when the time is right. <clears throat> I know some don't understand all of these things, but we'll teach it. We'll share for there's an invasion of power that's coming to many ministries, many churches, where preachers will get up to preach and the power will begin to manifest. The people have been praying and the God of justice has heard. And he's going to, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I'm seeing. And they'll try to figure out what, I see one in particular. And it's going to be, and God has been knocking at the door of his heart. If I would say his name publicly, you know exactly who I'm talking about, but I don't have to. I may tell you so just to mark it, that you can come back and confirm it later. Hallelujah. All right. Let me. Whew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is why you came. This is why you came. To prepare you for what it is he's calling for you to do. This is why you came. You said more. You said le bando comba de se can. You said you wanted it. It's time. Many have feared this. Many preachers have feared this in their congregations. But I'm telling you now, God is about to invade. 
Some things, yes, he has to be invited. But there are people that have granted him access through their prayers and didn't even realize what they were doing. And they have been praying out stuff, and you're going to get ready to see it. You watch, you mark my words this day. You're going to see it. Unusual places. The power get ready to manifest strong. And this group of people, young and old, they're going to be laid out. They, it's just the power going to show up. And the Holy Ghost going to do surgery. And that's, that's how it's going to happen. There are things, one encounter with God's presence will, I mean, it'll outdo 10 years of counseling. I've seen it. Okay, yeah. Because some people have been trying to counsel out devils. Can't counsel out a devil. You cast it out. See, this is why the gifts of the Spirit in operation, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, and discerning of spirits will show you things and take you to the very root of that thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm trying to stop, but it's like, well, there's been great darkness. You about to see such light and power. Yeah. Hallelujah, thank yeah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. One tip of the power in the finger of God will eradicate the greatest darkness you've ever seen. Do you understand the weight of God's glory and power? Now, I have to do this, but I, I, I ask for permission. Mother, will you allow me to pray for you real quick? I'll just come to you. Do you can I pray for you? You don't have to come to me. I'll come to you. I just want to bless you before releasing you from this place today. I've been seeing it while I've been preaching the whole time. If you want, that's if you want. No, I want you to stay there. Go ahead and receive. Just receive. You don't have to stand there unless you want to. Okay, let's go on and receive. Le robos elemande ribande vro setede braselamando setede. I bless this woman of faith. Yeah. This yeah. You know God. You know, I bless your body. I bless your bread and your water. He, yeah, he said, I've taken, I've taken sickness away from the very midst of thee. Now receive. Ooh, say this, say, by his stripes, I've been made whole. Uh -huh. He wanted me to say that, not just healed, but made whole. Whole. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Woo, glory. Mm, amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Glory, oh, man, why am I hearing these things, Lord? Woo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, great joy. Great joy. And great favor be upon you in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I got Woo. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you. And we glorify you. Strengthen us with might by your spirit and our inward man. Thank you that you quicken our mortal bodies and make them alive. Yeah, we thank you. And we call it so now. In Jesus' name. Sharabosoto. Pobre bale brochete. Hallelujah. Hey, Elder, can you do me a favor? Can y'all get her the mic? Um. Can you give an altar call for me, for anybody that, you know, the three things I normally do? I'm, 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 I'm,
Can y'all get an oh, yeah, they give me the mic. May God bless you. May God keep you in all that you do. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. What a word, what a word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Ha shora basete robo shaya. Toto robo sheke tero. Aha. Thank you, Father. Now we're going to have our altar call. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you have never made the Lord or asked him to come into your life, huh? I can just personally say you don't know what you're missing. He will come into your life and just change things for you. Nothing that you have to do, but he will just simply, he's such, the Holy Spirit is such a gentleman. But he will change things for you if you would just surrender all to him. So if you've never done this, all you have to do is say, say Holy Spirit, come into my life. There's a word that says, if you accept Jesus, know that he has died for you and he's risen from the dead. Hey, it's as simple as that. Amen. Amen. Just accept him. It doesn't matter what you did three weeks ago. He doesn't care what you did last night. But it's just that you surrender all to him. Then if you've never been baptized in the Holy Spirit, oh man, I think that is the best part of it as it, of it all. Hmm. Just being able to speak in, in the heavenly language. Ha. I tell you that Satan won't know what you're just speaking to our Father. Just say, Holy Spirit, come into my heart that I can have evidence in speaking in that heavenly language. And we thank you. We thank you for it now. And it's in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right, and it is first Sunday, guys. Hallelujah. And we're going to just impart and take part, excuse me, of first communion. And we're going to give out the elements. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. But did y'all get something from that word today? I tell you, I did. It is just so many confirmations. My husband and I were out of town yesterday, and it was like Pastor was sitting in the tr truck with us. <laughs> he just confirmed so many things for us. And like he says, sometimes we just have to be obedient. We just need to be obedient. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
Aleluia. Glory, glory, glory. Sister Gloria, it's so nice to see you. Oh, my girlfriend right there. It is so nice to have you back. One of the other prayer warriors, man. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. And as we part in communion this morning, we'll lift up the bread. Father God, we thank you. And he said, as we take this bread and break it, do it in remembrance of him. Glory to God. We may eat. The same way he took the cup, he said, this is my blood that's been given up for you. Drink this blood in remembrance of me. Let's drink. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Ah, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you this morning or this afternoon. Father, I ask and we ask corporately that you pour back in our pastor everything that he has poured out to us. God, just continue to strengthen him and continue to let him walk boldly in all that you have called him to do. Mm. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning for not only him, but for spirit of fire. It's almost like it's a new beginning for us here. So, Father, even as we leave this place, let there be a hedge of protection around us. Lest we, let us find our homes in the peace that we left it and we thank you for it now. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Forgive me. But one of the best parts of worship is the offering. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Yes. My God. You know, so many people don't realize the offering is still a part of the worship. Amen. Amen. You can make your tithes out to Spirit of Fire Fellowship. Also, there's other ways that you can give through Cash App, Vimo. There's also the barcode on there that you can scan. Give that way. We're making it real easy, guys. No excuses. I tell you. You can't out give God. I don't care how much you try. You cannot outgive God. I'm a witness. Glory. Right quick, just to, while you're preparing your offerings, I was out of work for some time and it was not getting paid. And I would lay some time in the bed and say, God, what? And not a bill got unpaid. Mortgage was paid. Whatever we needed, it was taken care of. Everybody else was complaining about food costs, gas costs, but hey, the Watsons was taken care of. You cannot outgive God. I'm telling you. Amen. So if you need an envelope, you can raise your hand. Yep. Okay, we'll pray over the offering. Oh, Father God, we thank you. 
for every seed that is sown. Father, we thank you that you'll give it 10, 30, 100 fold. And Father, we thank you that even the people that have a heart to give and may not have it right now, we thank you that you, because your word said you'll give seed to the sower. So we thank you for that seed that's being given to them. Now we ask that you bless it now. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray, praise, and thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. All right. Have a great day. Amen.